Do you want to rank number one on Google Maps in your local market? Great. There are four things you need to do. I'm going to break them down simple and easy. And guess what? They're not that hard, but you're going to want to stick around till the end because the last one is really critical for helping boost your SEO across the board. So in this video, I'm going to break these all down for you. Simple and easy, straightforward. Let's jump right in and get started. Okay. Google likes consistency. Why is that? Because the more active you are online, the more Google knows that you are a trusted, active and engaged business in real life. What does Google like to bring up? Well, they like to bring up businesses that are active, alive and engaged. Here's what you need to do. First, you need to add photos to your Google business profile. This helps you in two ways. First of all, it's an easy way to keep your profile active. Second of all, it helps your customers to see what's going on at your business. You don't want them to go in the middle of summer and see all photos from winter with snow covering your local business, right? because that makes them think that you're not really up to date. And I lied, there's actually a third reason too. The third reason is because Google uses AI to pull keywords from images. So the more photos that you have, the more images that Google has to understand what the keywords are that it should pull up your business for. Number two, reviews, reviews, reviews. Google loves reviews. When they see a flow of reviews on an ongoing basis, Google knows that your business is active and engaged. That means you have to put in effort to ask for reviews, get reviews and respond to reviews. It shows the right type of activity on your profile. The more reviews you get with a high star rating on a consistent basis, those are the profiles that Google wants to bring up at the top of search results when people are looking for services you sell, products you sell, or the type of business that you are. Third, Google has a whole post section where you can post events, updates, special offers to your Google business profile. That matters because when a customer comes to your Google business profile, which one are they most likely to click on? They're most likely to click on the one that shows offers to that customer, right? So if you have two landscaping businesses and one has a deal for first time customers and the other has no posts on the profile, which one is the new customer going to choose? They're going to choose the one that's going to give them a special offer for being a first time customer, of course. And if you want to get people to your store events or your local business events, you want them to know about updates from your business, whether you're still doing business, whether you offer certain other services at different times of the year, if you're a seasonal business, put it in the post section. That's going to help customers understand who you are. And guess what? The more posts that you have, the more likely people are picking your profile over others. Google is tracking that. And they're saying, well, this profile gets a lot more engagement and activity than this other profile. Let's rank them first because everybody's clicking on them. Posts are a great way to get more people clicking on you over others. The more people that click on you over other businesses, the more likely Google is to bring you up at the top. Now, I promise the last one was important. You should stick around. Here's the thing. There are lots of business directories. Google business profile file, it's actually just a business directory. It just is really important because it shows up directly in Google. There are others like Yelp and Manta and Yellow Pages. What's Google looking for? It's looking at those other business directories to see if your name, your business name, your business address, your phone number, and your website address are all consistent across the board. I'm going to put a tool down below so you can check and see if your business name, address, website, and phone number are consistent across all the other directories. If they're not, clean them up right now. There's also going to be a tool I'm going to link to. You can go and have this company clean up your listings so you don't have to manually go through all of them and do it. It's going to make sure that your business is consistent across the board. If you have consistent information, Google trusts that you are who you say you are, and again, is more more likely to bring you up in Google Maps. Those are four tips for what you need to do on an ongoing basis and make sure are updated. If you like this video, check out the next one, but also click on like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we look forward to catching you in the next video. I would love to have you subscribe for more great tips on how to optimize your local business for success. See you in the next video.